what is Gladiator? That's really hard to describe. It, um, in essence, it's an excuse to give students a reason to invite their friends to church. Um, at the logistical side of it, I guess, is that we divide the students up on the teams and we play games for points. And um, the idea has always been to just kind of turn those games on their head and not and not do something that's always, um, you know, that you would expect. It's also a, I guess it's an excuse or a reason to make church not feel like church. Um, because the, the core of Gladiator Games is outreach and to provide something for students to use to invite their friends to church that doesn't feel like church. Gladiator Games began early summer of 2008 is when the idea really kind of started because um, we didn't really have a whole lot of structure or any kind of program, if you want to call it that, um, that made youth ministry exciting. Um, we had a Wednesday night service, we had Sunday mornings, but um, we didn't really have anything that, that was in place that made it exciting. And it was my first year in youth ministry. It was a big part of me that had that was scared to death because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, some would argue I still don't. And so I went to I went to uh, to lift camp for the first time. And at lift camp, they divided up all the churches onto onto teams and played games in you know on the stage. And and that was a little bit of the theme for the week. And um, and I took a step back like the third night of camp and I'm looking around and I'm seeing a thousand students that are having a blast, psyched out of their mind to be there. And that evening after the speaker, you know, shared and shared the gospel and everything and I see all these students coming forward and accepting Christ and they're going crazy for worship and and I guess I just stepped back and I went, why isn't youth group like this all the time? Why why is it only at camp that it's this hype for church, that it's this hype for for Jesus? And so, what do we do? What do I do about that? So that's kind of where the idea started in some ways. Um, some of the inspiration for it, uh, there was a show called American Gladiators that was on when I was little, um, that was, you know, people competing in events and did all these crazy games, so there's a little bit of that. Um, that came from it. Um, if you've seen the show American Ninja Warrior, in my mind, many parts of that are a ripoff now from what American Gladiators was, um, but it works. And, and so that was sort of the idea for that, but we wanted to like frame it in its own, I wanted it to be its own thing. And I wanted it also to feel like exclusive to connect and for it to be something that we could get behind. And, and so it just sort of, evolved from that. I talked to some other people that I knew that were in youth ministry and started bouncing the idea off of a, off of a couple other people and it, it just sort of evolved into something that by the time I started it in, um, in the fall of 2008 that it still wasn't totally fully formed but it was worth taking a shot because Wednesday night stunk. <laughs> we didn't have any, I mean it was like a Bible study and for students, it was just kind of like, blah. And we went from having 13 to 14 students coming on Wednesday nights that year. Um, and most of them were only here because their parents were here. In fact, I would say probably all of them were here only because their parents were here. To the first night of Gladiator Games, we had 35. Um, the very first night. Now, is that the attractional model that you're just putting up something fun and trying to get kids in the door? Yeah. Absolutely, and I won't apologize for that um, because they heard the gospel that night. We had good worship that night. We had a lot of fun and we had a lot of community that just wasn't here until then. Um, and so that was a lot of the inception of it, yeah. The mission is to reach students for Jesus in a relevant, relational way that makes sense to them. Um, and in a way that uh, provides something, like I said, that doesn't feel like church, yet is very evangelistic in its core. Um, and, you know, I mean, one of the first rule of youth ministry is it's a sin to bore a kid. And the second rule is, you see, rule one. So, 
if they're not bored, uh, then that opens the door for them to hear the gospel. And we've had more students get saved on a Wednesday night during Gladiator Games than anything we've ever done, hands down. Nothing's even come close. Um, and it's not about numbers, it's about life change. And there are so many students, so many people that I know now that came through Gladiator Games and that that was their vehicle into a relationship with Jesus. That was their vehicle into life change and, and connecting to other believers and, and all of that. So that's, that's the mission. The, the mission is, has never been who gets the t-shirt um, or you know who can chug a bottle of water the fastest. Those things are all fun and cool. But that's never been the mission, the vision behind it. Gladiator games to me, I think, would be um, impactful in a whole. Uh, for me personally, I've been able to be a part of Gladiator games 19 out of the 20 seasons. So I came on very early. Uh, it's been exciting. A lot of stories, a lot of things I could tell, but the impact even to be able to be a part of some of the mission trips that we had taken in 2012 to Wales, 2016 to Ireland to be able to take gladiator games overseas and just see those kids and those students you know just absorb the fun and just the enlightenment of it knowing now that they're using it in their ministries after we've been there that's a huge impact and that's awesome gladiator games has always been progressive to me in terms of like it never I never want it to just be the same thing every time we play a lot of the same games even going back to the first season, we still do a lot of the same games that we did the very first season, but it's always evolved and it's always evolved and, and we always try to make it better. And I always try to see what are some new things that we can bring in and so that it's adjusting to students and as relevant as possible to students. So, you know, like things like the spirit stick weren't there the first season. Um, you know, some of the, uh, some of the things that we get points for weren't there the first season. Um, we didn't do a draft for the first season. I just divided kids onto teams the very first couple of seasons. And I think it was Shane that actually suggested the draft and it was a fantastic idea because it was a lot of fun. Um, but the, uh, you know, things like Penny Wars, those things weren't there. Um, that was actually Morgan Makota's idea, Penny Wars. And it was a great idea, uh, was students idea. Um, and it's always been something that I've wanted the students to take ownership of and adapt to what they see, you know, what they like and what they don't like. Um, I think you have to do it that way. Well, it's crazy to think we're on season 20. It's been 10 years since Jay has been youth pastor and started Gladiator Games. And it's not just impacted me, it's impacted our entire family because we compete for points at everything we do. We eat something that we don't want to eat that's on our plate at dinner. They get points for it. If just anything we do, it's a way of life for us and it's Gladiator Games. I've seen God move through Gladiator Games in ways that I haven't seen virtually anywhere else. Um, it's it's been It's been amazing and it's been a thing that can only be explained by God. It's not me. It's not. Um, it's it's not. It's 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 all been God. Um, to see students come to Christ that night, to not get out of here till ten o'clock at night, virtually every Wednesday, because there's students that want to stick around and talk, and leading kids to Christ through this thing has been um, worth it all. Another one of my favorite memories, I guess, that goes along that, that really kind of puts it all together is when we started doing Gladiator Games All-Nighters. And, uh, and the one we did in, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what here. The Gladiator Games All-Nighter that we did, we had about 125 show up that night. And it was crazy um, that we had that many people show up. Um, there were a couple of students that brought 15 friends. Um, which is what it was all about, and it was a great night. But the thing I remember from that night is not, I remember a lot of things from that night, but not the amount of bodies that were in the room, which was a lot. Um, 
what I remember was when I gave the gospel at the end of the night. And for those of you that have been here, you know kind of how, you know, one of the things I'll do is say, if you want to know more and you want to talk, just look at me. And I like to do that because it's non-threatening and it doesn't embarrass anybody. It doesn't make anybody like raise their hand or anything like that. But I'll just say, look me right in the eye because I can see that. God can see that. And it's an acknowledgement. And so I asked that. I said, you know, if you want to know more, if you're not 100% sure that you're going to heaven and you want to get that right tonight, look me right in the eye. And I had more eyes look up at me than we had adult leaders to handle it. Had to be 20, 25. And we had a good amount of staff there that night, but I was like, whoa. Okay, God. Um, wow. And so I did something that I rarely do, which is I gave the gospel in a blanket prayer kind of thing and just said, we don't have enough people here to deal with everybody that's looking at me right now. And so I just kind of did the whole, if you want to know, you know, if you want to know for sure, um, you know, kind of say this prayer sort of thing. And, and to have that many students come to Christ in one night was unreal. And it's something I'll never forget um, to be standing there and looking around and seeing more eyes looking at me than I knew what to do with was nothing short of the Holy Spirit moving in, in ways that that you just can't explain. Um, that's my favorite memory so far. Um, I, for me, I think the um, coolest thing about Gladiator Games is the students that bring countless friends, like people that have never been in church before and they have the opportunity to have a great time, see that um, church isn't what they may have thought it was, that you can actually have fun and be in church, and then they, that they get, at the end of the night, they get to hear the message. And through that message, we've had countless um, lives saved from a lot of their games, probably more than any other ministry I've been a part of. It blows my mind every time we do another season. Um, and I'm extremely humbled to have been a part of this and for God to allow this to go for this long. And for all the life change that I've seen, it's, um, it's surreal in a lot of ways. Because I, I wasn't even sure it was gonna work ever. Um, even after the first couple of seasons, you just aren't totally sure, but you know, it's pretty awesome when God uses you to do things that you can never imagine. Um, and I would have never imagined that something like this would have had such an impact on so many people. Um, and I'm just so grateful and thankful um, to, to have been a part of it. So.